Hey everybody, today I'm going to be attempting to make and eat edible fried water. Now this may sound impossible to you. How could you put water in oil and fry it? So in order to do this first, I need to make an edible water membrane. So basically make an edible water bottle and then I'm going to deep fry that with water in it and then eat that. The main ingredient that you need is this sodium alginate. Now what alginate is, is it's just a salt of alginic acid. And this is usually found in brown algae. Now sodium alginate dissolves in water. So if you stir it up really well and let it sip, let the bubbles relax, then you finally get a solution that looks like this. But when it's in the cell walls of brown algae, it's not sodium alginate, but it's calcium or magnesium alginate. Now the difference between these is both of these are these alginate salts, but the thing with sodium alginate is it dissolves in water. But if you mix in and replace those sodium ions with calcium ions per se, then you won't end up with a solution that is dissolved, but you'll end up with a solid in there because calcium alginate is not soluble in water. So if you just get some calcium powder, this is actually calcium lactate. You can also use calcium chloride. All you need is the calcium ion from it. So if you just take some calcium ions, mix it in with water, so now what happens is if I pour the sodium alginate solution in the calcium chloride solution, the calcium chloride solution will react with the sodium alginate, replace the sodium, and bond with the alginate, cross-link it, and it will now become insoluble in water. So for example, if I just do a string of it like this, then you should be able to find that string I just put in. <laughs> really cool. But the cool thing is, is if you don't disturb the water that has the calcium lactate or you can use calcium chloride, then you can actually make a membrane around an enclosed water bottle of the sodium alginate. So if you're really careful with it, it'll only react with the calcium on the outer edge of that spoonful that I just put in. And the longer you leave it in there, the more it can react because it'll bond with the uh, surface of it and it'll kind of diffuse into it. So then you can fish it out. And there it is. So this is actually a thin membrane with water inside of it. It's actually a solution of the sodium alginate inside of it. So you can pop it and the water comes out. And then it, you're just left with that thin layer that, re that reacted with the sodium alginate. So this is actually calcium alginate on the outer edge here. And this is completely edible. Okay, let's go ahead and eat it. First, first I'll suck out the water. <laughs> and then you can eat the membrane too. Can't say that was good, but <laughs> it's edible. So what I'm gonna try to do today is to actually use these edible water bottles and coat them with flour, egg, and some breadcrumbs or something and try to deep fry them in oil and then eat them. Okay, welcome to my cooking show today. Today we're going to be making deep fried water. Now this works really well for those of you who aren't looking to add a lot of calories into your diet, but still like water. Okay, we plop it in. Do a slightly smaller one here. You can't even see you it. You can't see it, but we're gonna stir it around. Okay, you can't even see them in there. They're definitely in there though. Let's grab one of these. Okay, look at that water bottle there. Try it in flour, gently. Okay. <laughs> and then egg. Breadcrumbs. And let's see what happens here. If it doesn't pop. Oh, this is scary. <laughs> I think it popped. Oh no, <laughs> there's water in the oil. <laughs> Yikes, stand back. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go for Dixie Fry. I think the panko crumbs, the bread crumbs might have popped it. So let's go for flour, eggs, Dixie Fry, and then the hot oil. <laughs> it's really scary putting water balls in hot oil. Eggs. Dixie 
fry. There we go. Oh, it's sunk. That makes sense. It's water. Okay, we did it. <laughs> it didn't pop. <laughs> I let it go a little longer. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> okay. I think I can do panko crumbs again. I want it breaded. I want my breaded water. Okay, we're gonna try the panko crumbs again. All right, got a good one here. Let's go for it. Flour. Eggs. Panko crumbs. And let's lower it in. Hey, it's working. Just get a nice brown with this. Ooh, that's looking real good. Fried water. Okay, here we go. <laughs> that actually looks really good. <laughs> Look at that fried water. <laughs> that's so weird. It's literally just filled with water inside. Okay, this is the Dixie Fry water and this is the Panko Crumb water. Okay, let's plate my healthy meal here. Two edible water bottles. Okay, this is really funny. <laughs> this is the least substantial meal possible. Fried water. I even put some garnish on here. <laughs> so I got Dixie Fry water and Panko Crumb fried water. Let's give it a try. Okay, here we go. Oh, <laughs> there goes most of my water. <laughs> that was really gross. Okay, here we go. Hmm, not bad. Better than the raw one, but still a little slimy. Okay, let's try this one. Nice. Yeah, we're so gross. Ouch. <laughs> oh, oh, that's so gross. I think that one still had raw egg around it. Ah. Okay, Dixie Fry one, not good at all. I don't know. I just felt like I was eating a raw jellyfish. I don't know. But the Panko Crumb one was good, so I recommend Panko Crusted Fried Water. Okay, we did it. We actually made deep fried water. <laughs> Hey everybody, thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you learned something. If you have any comments or questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments section and I'll try to look at them. And check out theactionlab.com to see the Action Lab experiment boxes. If you haven't got any presents for somebody that enjoys science or STEM for Christmas, send them to theactionlab.com to buy some Action Lab experiment boxes or you can see the Action Lab experiment book that's on sale there now also. And if you haven't subscribed yet, remember to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you can be notified when I release my latest video. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.